In this quick Canva tutorial for complete beginners, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a design using Canva and specifically one of their templates. So there's hundreds of thousands of templates to choose from. It doesn't matter if you're creating a flyer, your business card, a Pinterest pin, Instagram story, YouTube banner or thumbnail, whatever it is, there's templates where you can take your information, your photos, your brand colors, and create a design in a matter of minutes. That's what I'm gonna walk you through in today's video. If you don't currently have a Canva account, there's two options here. You can sign up for Canva Pro, their paid version, or you can try it free for 45 days using our affiliate link down below, or also with the link down below, you can sign up for just their free plan. Everything we're gonna do in today's video, you can do with the free plan. Although I will point out a couple of reasons why we end up paying for Canva Pro. With that said, let's just hop on the computer and create a design. When you get to Canva's website, it's gonna look something like this. If you already have an account, like I do, I'm gonna click on login and let's create a design. Here's what it looks like once you log into Canva. So you have a couple of different categories like for you, presentation, social media, videos, et cetera. You might wanna try any of these, it says create blank. So if we just open one of these up, what you're gonna see is a blank page or blank design in the dimensions that you chose. This requires a little bit more work or knowing what you want to create the design. We're gonna use one of the templates where we just have to change out what's currently there, but we'll do that in one second. Then you see some announcements and then down below are our recent designs. This search bar is your best friend. So whatever you're looking to create, we're gonna create a YouTube thumbnail today. So that comes up, YouTube thumbnail. And then here are the 14,405 templates. So I have Canva Pro. For most different designs, I would say half are for Canva Pro. So you see the little crown over it, that's for Pro. If you just had the free version, you may have, I'm just making the number up, but say 7,000 options. Still plenty of options to find a good design. One thing to keep in mind that I recommend with Canva, there's a lot of really amazing templates, but they don't always have in mind how each of the platforms work. So for example, YouTube banner, sometimes the, the text or things are outside the dimensions they should use. For YouTube thumbnails, people are gonna be viewing on their phone. So we try to use five words or less. And some of these, like this one here, has tons of text that no one's gonna see if the design is this big on their phone. But just, so what I would recommend doing is whatever platform you're using, save designs you like, and then maybe find something similar here within Canva. And then one other small thing that I wanna point out related to Canva Pro and what we use every day. So here's what our thumbnails look like. It's something like this where we have a picture of me. And the thing is whatever color of the design is gonna be all the way around this person or me in our videos. And that's essentially where you have an image and you remove the background. So that's not something you can do with the free version of Canva. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if we go to uploads and choose one of my photos like so, here's what the image looks like, right? And so what we need to do here is edit image, background remover, and then we could use this image here. So that's one of the features that you're gonna need to pay Canva to use. But don't worry, there's a bunch of options here that don't require that. So for example, something like this, where there's these circle frames that you can put your photo into. I'm gonna show you that in one second. Or for example, this is an entire image that takes up the whole background. Something like this one as well. So think about the design you wanna make and make sure that it'll work with the version of Canva that you have. So let's just create this design right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's a design. As I was saying before, this is probably way too much text but let's just go through little by little making changes to what we have here. So the first thing, let's get rid of the doctor and let's use an image of me. So if we just, this is one of the frames, I'll show you how to find these later. You just drag your image over top of the frame and it puts me in the middle of it. So the all the distracting stuff in this image is outside of the circle now. Also, I can, oops, I'm changing the size of the circle frame, but if I do this, essentially what I can do is I can change the size of the image, but now I'm gonna be outside of the circle, but I just drag that back and something like that, click off, and you can see now it's even less distracting than it was a second ago. And then we just start clicking on stuff and customizing it. So for example, this is not our blue, and you can see what's highlighted right now. So whatever you're currently selected on, it will give you the options for up here. So you see this blue color matches this, so I imagine that's what I'm editing. What if we go with the Figco's darker blue? Yep, so that's that. If I click over here now, 
you see it selects the brighter blue. That's not one of our colors, so maybe we just choose white. So you can see here as you go about changing things. So, so for example, there's a circle that goes around the frame image. So if we select that, that's what we have right now. You can see the blue is here again. So the image that they had, this and this were the same color. So we could go with white. We could use their blue here. Let's kind of copy the design that they had and choose white. So it's going to look something like that now. And then, as I was saying before, is there's too much text, so let's get rid of that. A thumbnail is meant to click on and start watching a video. I don't know why there would be a subscribe button on the thumbnail, so we're gonna, you can see that deleted the text. That deleted the element. And then what do we have here? So let's say this video is something YouTube related. So maybe we wanna, this would be create your channel. So create your channel, something like that, right? And so there's a couple things to do here. The first thing, let's highlight all of it and let's use one of our fonts. So again, whatever you have selected, the options for it, you're gonna see up along the top here. So let's go to what Open Sans Extra Bold, I think is what we use and something like that. One thing that I'm also noting with this text, I'm okay with the color, but if I wanted to change the color, we could select we could make it green, white, whatever, but it's the spacing. It's kind of squished vertically. So to change the vertical spacing of the text, you can see right here, it's only at 0.864 line spacing. So let's at least go a little over one, maybe even higher. So maybe something like that. So we're taking up more height and the words aren't kind of squished together. We could probably move it down a little bit. Another thing here, if we highlight this text, what we can do up here, we can just change the size of it a point at a time we can highlight this and just type in the number we want so 100 or the other way to do this let's just go smaller so if you have something like this that's more or less what you want at least the dimensions because the thing is if you make the font bigger all of a sudden what's, what's going to happen is it puts it onto a second line because it doesn't fit so that doesn't really work if you just take this uh text box and grab one of the corners you can change the size like so. So we could do that. We could maybe move this down. And being this is about YouTube, the other thing that we wanna to try to do is add something visual besides, hey, I'm gonna be in this video and it's about YouTube. So how can we do that? Maybe if we add YouTube's color, their logo, the little YouTube uh, button icon. And so if we just go and delete these right here, where you're gonna find something like that would be within elements. So if I click on elements, you can see this is something that we used a whole bunch of times, but whatever it is you're looking for, what do we wanna say here? How about dogs? So you can see all of the different elements for dogs, maybe like corgis. Um, so we have graphics, there's photos, and just looking along the side here, so you have elements, uploads, text, projects, photos. So photos are generally stock photos, uploads are stuff that we've uploaded obviously and they have all these other designs so for this video we don't need a dog design there's lots of them here um, also the thing is if you click on these three dots for any of these so you can see that see more like this for example so if you're looking for multiple different designs that are similar there's a ton of stuff that you can find within canva so if we go back to say youtube and now we can just add the YouTube button like so. This is a little bit too big, but if we make it something like, let's see what that looks like. Something like this. One of the things to think about when you have elements, text, whatever it is, is the alignment. So the thing is here is maybe I want, so there's like a border around the whole outside that you can maybe see, but I think maybe I want the YouTube button left aligned with the text like it is right now. So something like that, I think is about right but the nice thing is here whatever it is you can either align vertically like left right center so for example like move this over more here is the center of the text but i didn't necessarily like that that much so let's align here to give you a different example of this there's two elements so there's the image of me and then there's the circle if for example i didn't want this ring around the outside to be quite as big what i could do is i could make this circle bigger 
but now you can see it's kind of uneven but now you can see right there it is centered vertically and horizontally with the white circle so i'm back in the middle of the circle just the ring around it is now a little bit thinner so whatever you want to do it's really easy to just take a template make a couple of changes to it and there we go a youtube thumbnail the same thing works for business cards presentations or whatever it is that you want to design if we're okay with this design there's a couple things one i would give it a name so blue modern youtube thumbnail i would say this is um tutorial canva you uh create youtube channel so if i wanted to search for it and find it in the future this is used for a tutorial for canva but it's also for create your youtube channel and when i'm done with it i probably want to use this somewhere so you can download it you can share it on social we just end up downloading it normally so download as a png click on download you usually have to wait a second and then we can just click right here and here is our canva design as promised you want to see our longer canva tutorial you can watch that along the side right there hope to see you in a future video bye bye